Hi guys, it's Katie, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite products of the moment, or my current favorites. And I know I've kind of skipped out on doing my December favorites and my 2011 favorites, but I'm sorry, and I have a lot of obligations and stuff that's going on. Unfortunately, I'm going to wish my life was just like a, a walk in the park, but it's not. Anyway, enough about me. I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of my favorite products that I have been absolutely in love with, like head over heels in love with. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing is my Rosebud Salve by Smiths, and this is available at Sephora for like around $10, $11. I'm not really sure the exact price, but it is worth every penny because I have literally had this since summer, and I still have a really good chunk of it left. It is kind of pinky in the like uh, container, but <laughs> don't be fooled, it doesn't give you a tint at all on your lips. It's only clear, really. I mean, I feel like it's just a nice clear balm, so if you want something really natural, then use this. I got this one because it looks really cool and it's like little, you know, tin. It also comes in like a squeezy tube form and I have that in my bag downstairs because I bring that to school and like in between classes I'll just put it on my lips. I mean, it totally fools people because it looks like you're wearing lip gloss, but really it's just a lip balm and your lips are extremely hydrated, especially if you have really bad chapped lips. It does a really great job of hydrating and it also has a really nice rosy smell to it. This is my number one recommendation. And also, another way to repair dry, chapped lips, other than using this lovely balm, is this lip scrub, which I got from Lush and I talked about in my Christmas haul. And I actually wasn't all that thrilled about it, mainly because of the smell slash taste, whatever, because bubblegum isn't my favorite thing in the world. Like, I just kind of makes me gag sometimes. This does not do that at all. It's the bubblegum scented one, or flavored one. And something really cool about this is you can eat it off your lips. Usually I, like, just get my finger wet in water, scoop out some of this, and just, you know, massage it on my lips, um, the top and bottom. And then afterwards, you can just eat it right off your lips. Like, it's edible. If you're skeptical about the whole, you know, eating it off your lips thing, you can wash it off. I really, really love this lip scrub. And I actually heard about the whole lip scrub thing, because, I mean, at first, I was kind of skeptical about lip scrubs in general because I thought like oh I mean they obviously aren't gonna do anything it's just you know sugar on your lips. I thought there's a lot of hype about this kind of thing not just this product but in general lip scrubs until I came across this lovely website called mugpaint.com and I definitely recommend it for anyone who's kind of a beauty beauty junkie and wants to learn more about beauty and like tips and stuff like that, definitely go check out this website because it's great for all of the above. And they have a really great forum on there which is kind of like a chat, like a way to chat with other people. And they were talking about lip scrubs in one of their beauty forums, I think under like the lip category. And they really sold me on the whole lip scrub thing because I just had this sitting on a shelf after Christmas and I was kind of like skeptical about using it. I think I'm overusing that word, skeptical, sorry. I was kind of hesitant about using this product because I just wasn't really sure. I was it's like, ugh, I don't know. I mean, will it really do the job? I don't use this every day because I don't want to rub my rips, my, rub my rips. I don't want to rub my lips raw, but I do use this a couple times a week and it does a really great job of smoothing out my lips and just making it kissable and lovely and everything like that. So I definitely recommend this lip scrub by Lush. I think it's about 10 or $11, just like this from Sephora. I'm not really sure exactly, so don't quote me. But also, I really recommend the uh, website I was just talking about, and I'll link it down below, so go check that out when you get a spare, spare second of your day. And, okay, so next favorite. So the next favorite is my current skincare regimen, which changes so often, like, I can't even keep track of all of the ways that I cleanse my skin. But this is what I've been using for the past few weeks now, which is actually a really long time for me, because I tend to switch up my skincare every week. And that seems kind of crazy, because you're supposed to leave things, or let things soak into your skin or like you know use them for a week before deciding whether they work for you because you know it always gets worse before it gets better I mean I always talk about that but that is like a proven fact I'm pretty sure but anyway I am being good this time and sticking with this routine and I've literally been using this for a couple of weeks which is very good for me I went to the origin store which is where this stuff is sold at a local town center that's kind of sort of near me and it had a whole bunch of stores and I saw origins just like you know out of the corner of my eye and I'm like I have to go there because I was actually looking for the Vitazing, which I got, and I'm not all that, like, excited about it, because I guess I was, like, really excited about getting it, and then once I got it, it was kind of a letdown, because it doesn't really do a lot for me, because, I don't know, I just don't, I'm not in love. I mean, you know, I, you have that, you know, that feeling, and you're, like, so excited to get something, and then it's kind of, like, a little bit of a letdown, you're kind of like, oh, bummer, and that's kind of, like, what it was for me, but anyway, I really like this cream, which I actually, the lady sold me on, and she told me that since I have really, really dry skin, which is completely true, because I really do have dry skin, um, that I should use a cream cleanser over a foaming cleanser, or the type of cleansers I've been using for, like, basically my whole entire life without even knowing any of this, but apparently cream cleansers are better for people with really dry skin. This is not lather on my face or it doesn't like create bubbles which is what she means by things that dry you out more so according to this origins lady at this origins place 
uh, where I got this, she told me that basically if your cleanser, if you're putting it on your face and it lathers, like it creates bubbles or something like that, then it's not good for you if you have dry skin. I don't know why, don't ask me, this is just what she told me, and I'm kind of, kind of starting to believe her. This has been doing a really, really great job of clearing up my dry patches and my acne, which is really weird, but it has been, and I'm really, really impressed with that. It kind of has replaced my Cetaphil moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin because, I don't know, I just feel like that's just not, you know, nothing to compare to this. This is kind of expensive, it's $20, but I have like barely made a dent in it. I've been using it for three weeks. So that's pretty good. And also if you sign up for Origins and you go there like for the first time, they give you a free like kind of checkup almost. Like they're almost like your personal dermatologist for free. So I'm going back in like a couple of weeks and they're gonna give me a free facial for just purchasing something from their store, which is really great. So you can get this done like free facials all the time. Like uh, sign me up, that's great. So I really love this store. I'm going to be going back like every day of my life literally because it's kind of expensive but it's totally worth it because they're amazing and they know what they're doing which is really good so anyway I really like this cream and the best thing about it which I almost forgot to tell you guys is that it smells like lemon I'm not talking like lemon cleaning products no it smells like lemon pastries like lemon bars and lemon ring the origin store they actually test out the products on the back of your hands so you can kind of get a feel for what the products gonna feel like at home and I am totally in love it was like love at first scent or love at first smell you know so I'm definitely hooked on this and yeah so check this out. I have been loving my Ultra Repair Cream from Sephora, or it's from First Aid Beauty, and I'm not really gonna be doing any more review kind of videos on this because I've talked so much about this, it's ridiculous. Basically, it's a really, really deep moisturizer, so it really, really does moisturize your skin. It just makes everything so much smoother for your foundation, and it does not let me down. I have experienced in the past this really weird um, aftershock, I guess, of using certain moisturizers because I will use the moisturizer in the morning before putting on my foundation and I will notice throughout the day that I'll get these little dry patches, you know, that like develop in certain areas. The air just like sucks my foundation and my moisturizer and just like makes everything all dry and disgusting. This certain moisturizer has not allowed that to happen for some reason and I'm not sure why, but basically this does exactly what it says and that is what I'm definitely looking for in a moisturizer and really in any products. So I definitely recommend this. It was kind of expensive, but it's a huge jar and you can use it all over your body, so not just your face. And yeah, it's allergy tested and it's fragrance free, so it's not going to be you know, really, really breakout -y. I don't know, it's not gonna make you break out if you have sensitive skin like myself, so I love this and I recommend it to anybody. Next thing is this foundation brush, which is the Sigma Flat Top. My sister and her friends are here, so it's very loud, but anyway, I love this Kabuki brush. Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki F80, and I really, really, and I really, really like this for just blending in my foundation, and I like to, when I have the foundation like applied to my face in little problem areas, and before it's blended out, I like to use this brush, spray on my Fix Plus by MAC, just spray it, like pretend spray, a couple spritzes, and then I just like go like this and just blend it in, and it does an amazing, amazing job of giving me an airbrushed look, which is really hard to find in foundation, so I'm really happy that I finally, after however many years I've been doing makeup, finally figured out the secret to airbrush looking skin. So I definitely recommend this to anybody who's having issues with their skin or with their foundation or with their makeup and blending and stuff like that. So this does a really great job of not kicking up my foundation. And the Fix Plus also does a really great job of blending out pigment eyeshadows or making them just look more vibrant. This itself is a very universal product and it's only $10 from the MAC counter. So I definitely recommend it to anybody who's looking for an amazing um, blending medium or mixing medium. So yeah, Fix Plus. And this brush love them both so the last thing makeup and beauty wise is this liquid liner and it's by l'oreal it doesn't have any name or packaged you know names on here except for on the bottom l'oreal carbon black um liquid liner i guess whoopsie sorry i just totally dropped it it's kind of like my life basically and i use it almost every day but i mean i'm not really much of a liner person like on a daily basis i kind of get frustrated with my eyeliner because i have a very like you know like not steady hand in the morning at least because i mean i'm like i just woke up i'm not an artist i can't draw like i can't sketch i can't do anything really so i mean like when i'm like trying to put on my eyeliner it always gets really shaky and i get really frustrated and my like it just messes up my whole day. This eyeliner is amazing for so many reasons. And number one, it does a great job of kind of, you know, guiding itself. I mean, it doesn't 
doesn't cause me to like you know have little random spaz attacks with my hands because sometimes like that happens to me and I'll be like putting on lipstick or like lip liner and it'll go like you know like I'm that person that does that and it's not even like I'm in the car or anything it's just like natural for me my hand to have little twitches and stuff I don't know what's wrong with me but anyway I really like this liner and it's only like like I want to say like somewhere between like nine and like twelve dollars I'm not really sure that's kind of like the window it's in between I'm pretty sure from like CVS or something and actually at CVS right now they're having like a buy one get one half off for like this brand I'm pretty sure L'Oreal so I'm gonna take a little break in the favorites to announce the winners for my philosophy um, face washes they're in their little packages so I want to be as sanitary as possible so if your name is peer or a peer then message me with your shipping information and your full name if your parents allow you to, if not, just message me back and I'll like, you know, say, sorry, I can't do this, whatever, and I'll pick another winner. Please message me within the next week because I really would like to get these sent out ASAP. So if your name is up there, your username is up there, then message me and you are the new owner of a philosophy face wash. Stay tuned for my next few videos because I will be announcing another giveaway in another video. So please stay tuned for that. You guys will not be sorry because it's a great, great opportunity and you guys will be very very happy I'm sure with me. But I have a few person favorites and music favorites I'm gonna share with you guys and quickly the two, three, three person favorites. One is Beauty Rush 315, my BFF here on YouTube. Lexi, I love you. I can't wait to meet her at IMATS. And by the way, let me know if you guys are going to IMATS in the down bar because I think we're gonna try to do some sort of meetup or something because I'd love to meet you all. But like literally I'm like jumping out of my skin. I'm so excited for April. So um, yeah, it's April 14th and 15th if you're not sure about that. And anyway, Lexi, love you. Like a, you know, love you like a, love you like a sister, L-Y-L-Y-L-A-S, love you like a sister, I think it's a thing, so, love you. <laughs> and Christy, Strawberry Electric 48, if you guys have not seen her videos, you are insane, she's amazing, and I'm so excited to meet her at IMATS as well, she's a great personality, and I'm really excited. Hopefully I'll be staying in the same hotel as her, I think we're gonna try to work that out, but anyway, I'm really excited to meet you too, Christy. And then lastly, Lo, Lo, you, L-O, Lo, she has an amazing personality and she's gorgeous. She really reminds me of someone. She reminds me a lot of like, shoot, and I figured out her, oh, she really reminds me of Juliana, I think it's her name. Like, I think she's like on E! News or something. She really does remind me of her. So, hey Lo, like you too, you know, you're okay, just okay. Last thing is my music favorites. I have been really in love with a certain artist, uh, music wise, and they're called O Land, so like O-H, you know, space, land, exclamation point. And I actually heard about them from Glass Zipper Beauty because she used one of their songs in like one of her vlog videos or something. Kind of hooked on like the beat because I have this like really weird like music style. Like sometimes I'll really like like rap and like pop and like all the popular songs. On the other hand, I'll really like the indie alternative music. And this is more of the indie alternative music. And it's Oh Land. I bought the whole album because I was really, really just loving every single song. You know when you're like listening to an album or like you're going on iTunes and you're trying to pick out songs you like and like you find one album and you're like going down the list and you like every song and you just end up buying the whole album that's like how I was there's so many unique songs on there that had the, the best sound and I'm just so happy that like I bought it and I really really encourage you guys to go check out Oh Land because they have awesome music wish I could play it for you guys but copyright information says I can't sorry but anyway that is my favorites video hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later so bye